Mabel? Well, as my title implied, I'm going to be talking to you about learning and regardless of your position in life, why you should always strive to learn. And to start, I'm going to ask all of you some questions. Don't worry, it doesn't require a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many of you here are in high school? Just one? Okay. <laughs> I'll put that. I'm better at writing like this. High school, and I'll put in. All right. How many of you have graduated high school? All right, all right. I'm coming. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'll put high school grad. Bit awkward. Sorry about that. Okay, now who of you here are in college? Three of us? Oh, two of college. Two and a quarter? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll put college in. Okay, now how many of you have your associate's degree? Ooh, anyone? No one has their associate's degree? Okay, okay. I'll just put it there anyway. I'll just put AD. I'll take that out. Okay, how many of you have your bachelor's degree? Ooh, that's one that I thought. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Wow. Okay. All right. Stepping it up a bit more. How many of you have your master's degree? Ooh, three. How much do you mean you finished? Huh? You're finished or well, are you doing your master's degree right now? No, I get it. I, I didn't. I'm not able to finish it. Oh, well, I'll just count you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's a master's degree. One more up. How many of you have your doctorate? Anyone? No one here? Stuck in master's? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put GD, even though I don't think that's the right answer. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now how many of you have a professional degree, like a degree in a specific like field? Anyone? Just one? All right. No one else that I didn't see? Okay, this one has a P. I know these are the wrong initials, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about learning and how regardless of your position in life, why you should still learn. Now, the most obvious reason why you want to go out and learn for, you know, the like secular public is for money, right? <laughs> well, based on okay, based on this site I found, I don't know what it stands for. These are the statistics for people and these statuses of their um, salary rate on average. So, someone who's in high school, like Alex, if you dropped it right now, you'd be making at twenty-three k a month or a year. You know, that's I don't know if you could live on that, maybe. All right, someone who's a high school graduate, me, and Abel, and everyone who's here, if that's all you had, you'd be making 30000 a year. Getting a bit better. In college, where me and Abel are at, we'd be making 36000 a year. Getting a bit better. All right. Associate's degree, 38000 a year. All right. Okay. Now, step up to bachelor's, go straight up to 52. That's what I'm supposed to earn. <laughs> <laughs> on average, on average. Okay. <laughs> and now, um, up to your master's degree, you should be making, give or take, 62K a year. I don't know, I won't ask if anyone's ashamed to say they're not. Your <laughs> doctorate, 90K. Jumped up a lot. Nine. Huh? Nine. Yeah, it's nine. <laughs> <laughs> and then your doc or your professional degree, you should be making a hundred and nine thousand dollars a year. Now I know some of you here made more. Uh, I know some of you here are making more than a hundred k a year, and I won't say who, but that's okay. And even if you don't even have your professional degree, they've started at it like a different time since. If, it's were my, if it were my generation doing this right now, that's roughly where we would be at. But since you're at a different generation, you started learning, you built your way up, so you're making a different amount. Anyway, 
this is a pretty average reason why people want to learn in life, right? Just to make money and get ahead in life and be happy. Well, I'm going to give you a few more reasons why you should always go out and learn. The, another one people don't know, surprisingly, is that people, st uh, statistics have shown that people who have a higher education are usually physically and more mentally fit or healthy, either or. I'll just put it physical, mentally, happy faced. All right, they're physically and mentally happy faced. <laughs> and, um, I'll cite where I got that from, another initial site. Now, how many of you would believe this is you know, pretty much true? Most of us here, minus Alex and David, are, have graduated from college or are in college. How many of you would say you're pretty happy where you are in life right now? You know a lot, you can hold up an argument, you're pretty smart, yeah. Not David. Um, you would all say you're pretty good in life right now, yeah. And that's true, you are. It would say, or they say, 60% of the people who are above a college level of intelligence are happier than people who aren't. And there is another statistic from the same site that say people with a lower like, level of literacy and numeracy, did I say that right? Yeah. yeah are surprisingly higher to commit suicide. That was kind of shocking to me. But people have argued that when you have a higher education, you know more about like how to take care of yourself, yourself, and how to do things of that nature. You make more money, and that's why. There's no real way to like differentiate between making money and being happy because of how much you know and things like that. But I like to think if you do know more, you are happier, more physically and mentally happy faced. All right. Um, oh, here's another one for people who are starting to get a bit older in age. We're above 30 plus. This isn't known, but more mental stimulation will reduce the chance of Alzheimer's. So if you can <coughs> get that, go out and do anything to stimulate your brain, whether it's like learning a new dance. It doesn't have to be like that strict, generic reading a book, learning what's in it. You can be doing anything to stimulate your brain as long as you're learning something. You can be learning someone's name, you can be learning what someone likes, you can be learning about another culture, anything, it doesn't matter. And then there are other more social reasons why people, all of us should here, want to increase our intelligence. And the first is for self-improvement. I really need to write this down, but self-talk. When you get into like a conversation, like right now, when we're, uh, during the topic session, <coughs> we were talking about um, the debating that happened last night. Usually, I usually don't get into that because it's a very heated topic and I don't really care too much about it. I don't really know too much about it. So I'd rather just stay out of it and not get into it because I don't look you know, foolish. And so the more you know, the more you'll be able to defend yourself and what you believe in. All right, and then when it comes to talking to people, you'll have more to talk about. You'll understand what they're talking about more, and you'll just overall be more of an interesting person. And pretty much that's it. For money, your social self, your health, and for people around you that you know, that you'll want to be smarter for. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>